What if I told you that some of the animals you see today are older than the dinosaurs themselves? It might sound impossible, but it's true. In this video, we're going to explore 10 incredible creatures that have survived for hundreds of millions of years, outlasting even the mighty T-Rex. From ancient sea dwellers to resilient insects, prepare to be amazed by nature's ultimate survivors. At number 10 is Chinese giant salamander a remarkable species that has existed for at least 170 million years during the Mesozoic era. Fossils of ancient salamanders closely related to the Chinese giant salamander have been discovered in various parts of the world, indicating that its ancestors were widely distributed during the early stages. The survival of the Chinese giant salamander is largely attributed to its aquatic lifestyle. This species thrives in cool, fast-flowing mountain streams and rivers in China, which may have provided a stable environment. Additionally, its slow metabolism, large size and unique physiology, such as the ability to absorb oxygen through its skin, enable it to thrive in low oxygen conditions, giving it an advantage during periods of environmental change. While the Chinese giant salamander has undergone some evolutionary changes, it has remained relatively unchanged in terms of its physical characteristics. It is considered a living fossil because its basic form has been conserved over millions of years. Although it has adapted to certain ecological shifts such as changes in diet or habitat, its overall morphology, including its broad, flat body and specialized skin for respiration, has remained remarkably consistent. The species is a prime example of evolutionary stasis, having retained traits that were successful in its environment, thus allowing it to endure through significant global changes. At number 9, crocodiles have existed for over 200 million years. They first appeared during the late Triassic period, around 230 million years ago, even before the dinosaurs appeared. Fossil evidence indicates that early crocodiles and their ancestors had distinct skull and tooth structures, highlighting their long evolutionary history. For instance, fossils of Erpetosuchus, a small archosaur from the late Triassic, emphasize their ancient lineage. Their survival is primarily due to their adaptable nature and efficient survival strategies. They have a general diet that allows them to utilize various food sources, and their ability to go for long periods without food, along with their semi-aquatic lifestyle, helps them endure hard conditions. These reptiles possess a unique combination of traits, such as a powerful bite, strong swimming ability, and the capacity to regulate their metabolism, which makes them survive. Over time, crocodiles have undergone relatively slow evolutionary changes, refining their adaptations to various ecosystems. However, their overall body structure and hunting strategies have remained remarkably consistent. This conservation of evolutionary traits has enabled crocodiles to remain dominant predators in aquatic environments. Although they have adapted to different climates and habitats, their fundamental design has not drastically changed, allowing them to persist while many other species have come and gone. Often referred to as living fossils, crocodiles have still evolved over time. At number eight is the Emperor Scorpion, Pandinus Imperator a fascinating species native to the African continent. This species has existed for over 350 million years, with a lineage that dates back around 430 million years. Fossil evidence from ancient scorpions, particularly those belonging to a group known as Eurypterids, or sea scorpions, highlights their lengthy evolutionary history. While ancient scorpions were often much larger and inhabited marine environments, Modern scorpions, like the emperor scorpion, have adapted to thrive on land. Fossils of scorpion ancestors show that these creatures had features similar to those of modern scorpions, such as pincers and segmented bodies, which have been preserved over millions of years. This makes scorpions some of the oldest surviving land-dwelling arthropods. They have successfully survived multiple mass extinctions, primarily due to their ability to adapt to a wide range of environments, from deserts to tropical forests. Emperor scorpions are found in the tropical rainforests of West Africa. 
Their ability to hide in burrows and seek shelter in crevices helps them avoid extreme temperatures and predators. Scorpions are remarkably resilient, capable of surviving long periods without food and water, which enables them to endure environmental stress. Although scorpions have undergone relatively slow evolutionary changes, some species have developed specialized features such as bioluminescence, which assists them in navigating in the dark. At number seven are lampreys, ancient jawless fish that have existed for over 360 million years, making them the oldest living vertebrates on earth. They can be traced back to the Devonian period, where they were already well established in aquatic ecosystems. Fossil evidence of lampreys is scarce due to their soft bodied structure, but their unique anatomy characterized by cartilaginous skeletons and sucker-like mouths suggests that they have undergone minimal evolutionary changes since their first appearance. This long history positions lampreys as living fossils, offering insights into the early stages of vertebrate evolution. Their survival can be attributed to several factors, such as their ability to occupy a wide range of habitats from freshwater rivers to the deep ocean. Their parasitic lifestyle which involves feeding on the blood of larger fish, allows them to exploit a unique ecological niche, reducing competition for food and alleviating some of the pressures faced by other species. Additionally, lampreys have a slow rate of evolution, which while limiting their adaptation to certain environmental changes, has also helped preserve their fundamental design. Their ability to withstand extreme conditions such as fluctuations in water temperature and oxygen levels, has further contributed to their survival through various mass extinctions. Over time, lampreys have evolved specialized features, including an anticoagulant in their saliva, to facilitate feeding on larger fish. At number six are coelacanths, and fish that have existed for over 400 million years. They first appeared during the Devonian period and were believed to have gone extinct around 66 million years ago. However, one was unexpectedly rediscovered off the coast of South Africa in 1938. This discovery provided necessary evidence that they had survived the mass extinction. Fossil evidence of early coelacanths, which includes well-preserved specimens with distinct lobed fins, shows that their body structure has remained remarkably consistent. Their survival can be attributed to several factors. First, their deep sea habitat provided protection from environmental changes that affected shallow water species. Living at depths of 150 to 700 meters, they were largely unaffected by fluctuations in sea levels and temperature. Additionally, their slow metabolism, long lifespan, and ability to adapt to low oxygen environments likely helped them for long periods. While coelacanths have remained relatively unchanged in many ways, they have undergone some evolutionary adaptations, particularly in their fin structure, which is considered a precursor to the limb structure seen in land vertebrates. This evolutionary link between fish and early tetrapods is one of the most significant discoveries in paleontology. Moreover, coelacanths have developed specific adaptations to thrive in their deep sea environment, such as a highly developed electroreception system that allows them to detect prey in the dark depths. At number five are sharks that have existed for over 450 million years when scales dating back 450 million years were discovered. The earliest sharks are believed to have appeared long before the first dinosaurs emerged in the Mesozoic era, about 230 million years ago. Evidence of their ancient existence is found in fossilized teeth and cartilage as sharks' skeletons are primarily made of cartilage, which does not fossilize well. However, their tooth fossils are abundant and indicate that sharks have undergone relatively few changes over millions of years. Sharks have survived multiple mass extinctions due to their ability to adapt to changing environments, efficient predation strategies, and versatile biological features. Their remarkable capacity to evolve allows them to adjust to new ecosystems, food sources, and environmental changes. Additionally, their diverse reproductive strategies, which include both live birth and egg laying, 
enhance their chances of successful reproduction. For instance, the development of the shark fin has enabled them to become better predators, while their specialized sense of smell, electroreception, and speed give them an advantage in various habitats. While sharks have indeed evolved over time, their overall body plan, featuring streamlined bodies, multiple rows of teeth, and cartilage-based skeletons, has remained relatively consistent. This long evolutionary stability indicates that they have adapted enough to survive drastic changes without undergoing major changes. At number four are the horseshoe crabs. They have existed for over 450 million years. Their origins trace back to the Cambrian period, marking them as the first marine arthropods to evolve. They evolved in the shallow seas of the Paleozoic era, which lasted from 540 to 248 million years ago. Fossil evidence of horseshoe crab-like species has been discovered approximately 485 million years ago. They have survived extinction, including the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago and the most recent ice age. One of the key factors in their survival is their simple yet effective anatomy. Their hard exoskeleton protects them from predators and their ability to thrive in a variety of habitats from shallow coastal waters to deeper marine environments has enabled them to endure significant environmental changes. As bottom dwellers that can tolerate varying salinity levels, horseshoe crabs are particularly adaptable in changing ecosystems. Additionally, their slow evolutionary rate contributes to their survival, as they do not rely on rapid adaptations like more organism. While horseshoe crabs have undergone some evolutionary changes over time, these changes are minimal, and they still retain many characteristics of their ancient ancestors. The horseshoe crab's body plan, which includes a hard carapace, a tail spine, or telson, and a set of jointed appendages has remained largely unchanged. At number three are lobsters. They have existed for over 500 million years, with fossil evidence indicating that their ancestors first appeared during the Cambrian period. It suggests that early forms of crustaceans, like modern lobsters, thrived during the Paleozoic era. Their fossilized hard exoskeletons provide clear evidence of their long history. Early lobsters had body structures like modern species, although some ancient forms were larger and more diverse. For instance, the Himalaya Karis, a primitive crustacean found in rocks that date back around 500 million years. Lobsters have survived the Permian-Triassic extinction and the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction. They are highly adaptable creatures, capable of thriving in various habitats, from deep ocean floors to coastal regions. Their hard exoskeleton protects them from predators and environmental pressures, and their ability to regenerate lost limbs adds to their adaptability. They also have an omnivorous diet that allows them to adjust to changing food sources, further enhancing their survival. The evolution of lobsters has been relatively slow, with significant changes in their body structure occurring over millions of years. While their basic design of long bodies, large claws, and segmented shells has remained consistent, Lobsters have evolved to occupy different ecological niches. For example, some species have adapted to colder waters, while others have developed larger or differently shaped claws for more effective prey capture. At number two are sponges, oldest living multicellular organisms on Earth, having existed for over 600 million years, dating back to the late Proterozoic era. Fossil evidence of primitive sponges, such as Otavia, dates back to the Tonian period, around 800 million years ago. Some species can be traced back to the Precambrian period, approximately 600 million years. These fossils exhibit structural similarities to modern sponges. The species like Demosponges and Calcis sponges in the fossil record further reinforces their long-standing presence and lineage. Sponges have a unique structure characterized by a porous body and a network of canals that facilitate water filtration. This design has enabled them to survive multiple mass extinctions and thrive in diverse environments, from deep ocean floors to shallow coastal waters. As filter feeders, sponges draw water through their pores and efficiently extract nutrients 
without the need for complex adaptations. Their remarkable ability to regenerate damaged tissue and endure low nutrient conditions has helped them adapt during periods of environmental stress. They were the first animals known to reproduce sexually, releasing sperm and eggs into the water. Additionally, they can reproduce asexually through budding and gemulation. While sponges have undergone some evolutionary changes, such as developing more complex skeletons made of silica or calcium carbonate, their fundamental body structure has remained relatively stable over millions of years. At number one is the jellyfish, which dates back 500 to 700 million years. Fossil evidence indicates that the earliest known jellyfish fossils were found in rocks from the Cambrian period. Some of the oldest evidence of jellyfish-like creatures appears as 3D impressions from the Ediacaran period, over 500 million years ago. These ancient jellyfish closely resemble modern species in their basic structure, suggesting that this group has maintained a remarkably consistent form throughout its evolutionary history. Jellyfish have survived multiple mass extinctions due to their gelatinous bodies, which are primarily composed of water. This composition allows them to thrive in various marine environments while using minimal energy. Their ability to drift with ocean currents makes them highly mobile, and their simple nervous system, along with the absence of complex organs, enables them to adapt to changes in environmental conditions such as temperature, salinity and oxygen levels. Typically, their life cycle includes both a mobile medusa stage and a sessile polyp stage, providing them with great flexibility. Additionally, their capability to reproduce in large numbers allows jellyfish to recover quickly after population declines. Their evolutionary stasis, where successful traits remain unchanged, has significantly contributed to their longevity. However, some jellyfish species have developed specialized traits, such as bioluminescence and venomous tentacles, which help them catch prey and defend against predators. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know.